there, it's Joseph from RoboFlow. Today, I'm gonna show you all about the RoboFlow model library and how you can use it to train the highest quality computer vision models on your own custom data sets. Okay, so what is the RoboFlow model library? Where can you find the RoboFlow model library and how do you use the RoboFlow model library to train high performing computer vision models? Well, the first thing that you can do is visit models.roboflow.ai and you're directed to this page here. You'll, you'll notice that the RoboFlow model library is completely free to use. And we support today two types of vision model architectures, object detection and classification. You'll notice that we have over 10 object detection model implementations and over three classification models. If there's a model that you want to see support for, but you don't see it in the RoboFlow model library, drop us a comment in this video and we'll get back to you about when we plan to support it. Okay, so what's in here? The RoboFlow model library contains overviews of notebooks, tutorials, and resources so that you can use any computer vision model that you might need for your given problem. For example, you'll notice that all these object detection models, we actually have some of the same models implemented in different frameworks. For example, for YOLO v3, we have a YOLO v3 implementation in Keras and a YOLO v3 implementation in PyTorch, depending on what best suits your needs. For faster RCNN, we have an implementation both in TensorFlow and in Detectron 2. Now, let me click into one of these examples so you can see what's included in the RoboFlow model library. So for YOLO v5, for example, which is implemented native to PyTorch, so this is a PyTorch implementation, we have links to a tutorial so that you can follow along with a blog to train on your custom data set, a video which uh, might contain someone that you hey know, uh, or even the source code on the repo on GitHub for you to be able to have the code available for training. GitHub's actually down at the time of recording. Here it is. So you can actually go to the source code and edit and use however you need. Now, the last thing is this Colab notebook, which allows you to train your model using free GPU resources. Now, before I jump into training, let me just walk through a few things. The RoboFlow model library contains details about each of the models, like when they were released, the general performance that you can expect, the model size, how it performs in the Cocoa benchmark, and a little bit more. But I can always go back and have a look at any of these other models too. And this allows me to do things like try out a bunch of different model architectures basically for free, which allows me to select the best architecture that's best for my problem. Now you might be wondering, how do you decide between computer vision architectures? Surely it's not just guess and check. And you're right. We'll do more videos on comparing and contrasting different model architecture decisions, but generally choosing one model over another comes down to the age old speed versus accuracy trade-off. If you want a model that's faster, generally that model needs to be smaller in parameters, which might make it slightly less accurate. The inverse is true. A model that's more accurate might be generally bigger in its parameters and run a little bit slower as a result. Another consideration is making sure that you choose a framework that works best for your type of problem. So for example, if you're doing a framework like, I don't know, you're maybe using PyTorch or you're gonna use TensorFlow Lite, these are all considerations that allow you to decide which architecture is gonna work best. So let's zoom back into the, uh, the, the uh, YOLO v5 example here. How do I actually use YOLO v5 with my given data set? Well, I already have my data in RoboFlow here, and I'll put a link in the description for how you can get your data into RoboFlow. But once it's in there, you're able to export that data in any format that you need. So for example, my chess pieces data set here, I have three different versions. This version called sample is just a regular old export that just does a, a, a type of resize. I have my raw data set and my other data sets, et cetera. Now, when I have my data in RoboFlow, I've already performed all my annotation checks, I've pre-processed it, I've done augmentations, I've made everything generally work the way that I need it to work. The question then becomes, how do I get the data from RoboFlow in to my model so I can do my training? I go ahead and click export, and you'll notice that when you export, you're provided with a wide array of different formats. So you need to match the format for your images and annotations to the format that the model library calls for. 
So for example, if I'm going to use YOLO v5, the PyTorch version, naturally I'm going to select the YOLO v5 PyTorch model type. I'd click continue here, it zips it up and it gives me the link to my data set. If I'm going to use YOLO v4 Darknet, which of these do you think I would use? Hmm, I actually don't see YOLO v4 called out, but I do see YOLO Darknet. Because YOLO v4 is a part of the Darknet family, in fact, that is the one that I would need to train my YOLO v4 Darknet model on this specific format. Okay, so I'm going to say that I'm doing YOLO v5. So from the model library, I'm in the YOLO v5, I click to open the Colab notebook. So this Colab notebook is the RoboFlow version of the Colab notebook. Now watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to click File, Save a Copy in Drive. This creates your own copy of the notebook. So now you can make any edits, you can run it, you can change all sorts of stuff. That's what you need to do. So up here, I'm going to rename this and call it, I don't know, Demo Example RoboFlow Custom YOLO V5. Now, once I'm in here, I have just a basic Jupyter Notebook hosted on Google Colab. So it runs just like a Jupyter Notebook where I can run each of my cells with control enter. I can add text cells, I can add code cells, all that good stuff. Now, this notebook has a lot of documentation about what's happening step by step, but generally, you just basically run each of the cells one after another and you'll be good to go. But you'll note, when you get to the step of downloading our correctly formatted, formatted data set, this is where you need to get your data from RoboFlow and the correct version into this given model. So you'll see here, this curl link matches what your data set should be. So I see your data set here. So if I go back to my data set, go back to my data set, and I click export, I wanted YOLO v5 PyTorch, continue. I get this link, and this link is super secret. Do not share this link with anyone outside of your team. Oops, got a little impatient there. So with this link, you'll notice that my key is intentionally blacked out, so you actually can't see my key, dear viewer. Uh, so I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna drop it right on in to this line here. Now, I'm actually not gonna do that on screen because I don't want you to see my data or my key specifically. So I've actually already started one demo example over here. And so my demo example over here at the top, I dropped in my data set, I already cleared the name, and then it ran, and I got all my data in here, and then I kicked off training for 200 epics. And after those 200 epics, I get some results. So this train, 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 you can see here that it trained for 14 minutes is all, and then I can visualize my results. So I can run the next cell after that, visualize these output graphs, visualize these output graphs, and have a look at how my model performed. And I see that actually the recall does quite well, as does precision, and it's leveling off, so my model is getting better. And I can even see, you know, my ground truth data, my ground truth data with augmentations, all those chess pieces. I can see my weights, and then I can run inference with those weights. And then I can print out the results of all of those inference from my weights in this exact notebook. And you'll notice here that YOLO v5 does inference quite quickly, quite quickly. And when I get my model results back, they print out exactly in this Jupyter notebook. And so you can see, look at this model. It does extremely well uh, after just being trained for 200 epics on how many images? On 289 images is all. And it does a great job at recognizing all these pieces. And then I could go ahead and export my weights into my Google Drive folder. I could download them. I can do whatever I want. And the nice thing is that I could do this for any of these notebooks that I find in the RoboFlow model library. So if I want to do the same thing for YOLO v4 Darknet, I would grab the YOLO v4 Darknet uh, notebook. I would file, save a copy to drive, get my link, drop it in, run my cells, and bam, I have a trained YOLO v4 model that I could compare head to head. So that's largely it. Each of these models are all ready for you to use and we're constantly improving them and constantly adding more. Drop a comment for models that you want to see us add to the RoboFlow model library. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the RoboFlow channel so that you can be updated when we post more content. Happy training and good luck.